Hello, my fellow assault men. This is your leader, Hydro, and today we are in Train Simulator 2016. Oh my god, this is so much better. I finally got a new computer, an actual computer, actually, not a laptop. I don't need that piece of shit anymore. And I've got an Xbox controller, as you can see, for example. Slow, faster, faster, faster. It's so amazing. I love it. It's so... I. I haven't touched one since 2016, not 16, 13, and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Now, if you're wondering, Hydro, where are we? Well, my good sir, this is a... I cloned it off of someone else's model railway workshop, steam workshop thing. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, so I cloned that, and I'm making it my own. I, I renamed the stations... I've renamed like the the sidings, sadly not these. I've actually added the sheds, um, added some other rolling stock, and well, we could do a review on the route later. So far, anyway. So what we are doing today, after God knows how long I haven't made a video for, we are going to be showing off the Steam Sound Supreme from with Victory Works. The the London, Brighton, and South Coast Railway A1 or A1X Terriers. Look at these beautiful things. So if you if you don't know, let's go over here quick. These are the A1s because of the additional, uh, I want to say maybe sanding gear box, maybe, and then the one. And then the other ones, which are the A1X, are not... So if you see the boiler or whatever, it doesn't have that. It's more of a circular, normal boiler. And there's more to it with the uh, what's inside the cab, too. So we can get, we'll get to that later. So, first of all, deliveries. Now, if you don't know, the first pack is the original um, A1s and A1Xs. But then there's the other one, which has additional liveries to it. So I bought, bought this wasn't pre-ordered, so I bought both packs for like $22. I'm a U.S. person, not a British person. So, But if you, but if you are British, I think the last time I saw the price was £17, $16.99. I don't remember, but anyway, let's get more onto the liveries. So the first one we have... Actually, it should have been a while ago, but I just did it by order from how the thing had it for me. So we have the FYN uh, livery A1. I don't know what that stands for, which is kind of sad, but I will, in another video, I'll probably talk about it. I'll probably like mention it. It's like, oh, this is what it was. Next we have the IWC livery. Looks still very nice like the other one. Um, oh, I didn't notice that before. Apparently they have headboards. Vend Ventnor. Ventnor. That's... I'll have to look into that because I've never seen that before. I've only looked at the A1Xs mostly. Now we have the London Brighton South Coast Railway improved livery. Which looks very nice. Oh, look at the lighting on it. It's so beautiful. And just so you know, with... The A1 and the A1Xs, if you get the improved livery or the Marsh livery over here, we'll get that to a second. Um, and I think that's the only other ones you can do this with. If you type in any 11 letters, you can change this. Yes, you can. I'm not joking. For example, this one right here used to be Modern. I don't know if I said that right. But I changed the nameplate to Stepney because of Bluebell. And I've actually heard there's a Bluebell route out for this game, which is nice. I also replaced the number, too, which is for its original number. I could have just put 55 and get the uh, London Brighton... Uh, no, 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 it's Brighton Works livery on and just left it there. Because Stepney was in that livery for a short time. But, nah, it's traditional livery. Anyway, so yeah, this looks very nice. We have the Marsh livery... Same 11 letters, doesn't matter. Um, 
it does look very really nice. Uh, okay, normal, normal. Okay, so no glitches yet. That's the thing. Uh, now we have the LSWR livery. To me, it's bit, it's it's too bright. To me, it's too bright. And red and green. I can see how the how the railway originally thought of the livery, but I don't know. It's just too bright for me. Now this is the one that intrigued me: the New Haven Harbor Company. I don't. I never really knew until now that this like this type of engine actually worked on there. I didn't even know this company existed, but apparently it must have been a dock shunter for a little short time. Next we have the SE and CR livery. I'll go through all these names maybe another time. But it does, that is, it looks antique, which I actually like. I'm into cars too, so it, it does look unique. I do like it. It's, it's not a bad livery. Next we have the wartime livery, which... I was surprised. I didn't. I never seen an, a terrier in this kind of livery. It was also for that one of uh, the one X's. But it does. It's intriguing. I. It looks worn too, which actually surprises me, which is nice. And, and fun fact: if we go over here to the London Brighton improved livery, if you look very closely in the dark, no. Yeah, in the dark, you can see there are some blodges here and there which actually that looks very very nice i'll go for the other worn ones later next we have the southern railway black livery and it looks kind of bland to me but again it was war so you had to, and all engines had to dress black because of strategy reasons which i mean it's still nice this one is in southern olive green livery no, no, not, not olive green. It's, I think it's more of a darker green. I think it's dark green livery. But it still looks very nice. I mean, I could drive it. It looks nice. And then lastly, we have the southern olive green livery. Looks very nice. I mean, I don't really understand the W right there. It must, it must have been the class when it was... the When the Railway Act was passed. Okay. So with the A1s, with the A1s done, all the way to the A1Xs. So now we have the Brighton Works, um, London Brighton South Coast Railway improved livery. It looks nice, and I did see this before, and it, and there are some blodges. We can get to mine in a second. You saw it in the beginning of the video. But hold on, DS three seven. What's the DS mean? If someone knows what DS means. Can you put it in the, just, uh, the comment section? Because I've never seen it on a loco before. It, it's intriguing. Is it the same? No, it's not the same thing over there. Now we have the Brighton Works worn livery, which, oh my god, it looks like it's a... Uh, it looks like a, mo like a model. Like you, you can have it in your hand, like those kind of models. And it's like all dusty because I haven't used it in forever. It's nice. I mean... It looks like it was working at a coal for, at a coal industry for a long time. It's still nice. Now we have the FYN livery. It look. I say they're both the same, but again, well, I mean, this one is a bit better since there's no red on it. But it again, still too bright for me. Now we have the IWC livery. It still looks nice. I mean, what what's this? Sand down. I need to I need to look up. I know there's probably a the history little pro, uh, text file in the rare file that I got, but I have to look that up. I don't know what that is, but it looks nice. Now we have Stepney, Stepney, the Bluebell engine. It looks nice. It does. This is the best livery I think is out of the whole pack, and I'm serious. The whole pack. Wait, F Y N. Oh, I was thinking of the... Okay, never mind. I was stupid. Anyway, it does look nice. I I love... I do love the Brighton Works improved livery. I think it looks much more nicer. Next, we have the London Brighton South Coast Railway Marsh livery. Still looks very nice. Uh, front and back, side. And, oh, there is new. there are new crew members. Uh, 
Is this only on is this only on one model? No, it's on every model. I think I know what they tried to do there, make it look sweating, but you kind of went a bit too far, buddy. And those those eyes. Wait, hold on. If I can uh let me use my mouse for a second. Aw, oh, you can't make that out. It probably says Brighton works, but you can't make it out, which is sad. And then, I don't like the guy that's st just standing out like, hmm, am I contemplating my life right now? Yeah, you are. But Yeah, you are, buddy. Why do you want... Why are you looking out here? There's nothing. Go back to work. You're a fireman. Anyway. Let's go back... Let's go to the LSWR livery. Again, it does look nice. The model... All the models look nice. It's much better than the freeware ones from UK Train Sim. And they did a and Steam Sons of Premium Victory Works. You've done it again. I'm serious. You've d except for the whistles, like for example the Brighton Works ones. I wish they would have done better. But with the um with the all with the dark green ones, it's actually a ba a really bass whistle. I don't know how do you say it. I don't know. Anyway, it it's it's more flu fluent. It's more better, I guess. I need to find more words. Next, we have the new the New Haven Harbor Company, which actually intrigues me. I should look up if if these engines actually did. I think they did. I mean, if it's in a livery pack, then it probably it was. Next, we have the e the S E and C R livery. It still looks antique, which looks nice, but I prefer the one over there, the A ones, not the A one X right here. Next, we have the wartime livery, which it what is that? Oh, that's the brake. Oh, that's on every model. How can I? How did I not notice that? It looks. It still looks nice. I mean, wait, seven. Dimensions have collided. Anyway, on to the southern black livery. It still looks nice. I mean. Oh, it has a whistle again. Is it? Is it the same thing? No, it's different. It's a higher one. Okay. Next, we have the Southern Black Livery named, which I just realized. Freshwater. That's the one that's working on the Isles of White route. Yeah, on the Isle of White heritage route. Yeah, with Invincible. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have the Southern Railway uh, dark green livery. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Dark DJ, who's a person I watch, don't judge me, he's going to be using this loco, or it's the A1, I don't know, but he's going to be using this one in the, in his season 7 uh, storyline of his of his railway. You know, those kind of stories. It's like Thomas and Jay, whatever. Next, we have the dark green southern named again, so it's Fishborn. I've never seen that before. That, I have to look at, I don't think he's working. I don't think that, I think he was scrapped. I don't know. And then lastly, we have the Southern Olive Green livery, which still looks nice. It, I don't know what this means. Someone tell me what this means. And there's no number. Oh yeah, there is, never mind. I'm an idiot. So, that's all of the, Lun that the these were all the, Terriers, but oh, I forgot to also show off. The pack also does come with um, coaches too. These, if I'm not mistaken, are the London Brighton South Coast Railway ones that would that goes with it. And then the southern ones are what we're going to use, and they're over there. So, without further ado, let's go to the sheds. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Anyway, so we have Raymond, who I nicknamed. And the thing is, if you rename it to something else besides any of the other terriers that are in this livery, the number goes weird. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, it must be some kind of glitch. Anyway, let's. This is the London Brighton South Coast Railway E2 from JH55000, who does Thomas remakes in trains, I think, and now Railworks. He's working on the on the on the Thomas and Friends route too. 
I mean, it would be nice to have, I mean, just memories and all that, but... If you're wondering where I got this livery from, the British Railways Express Blue, I'll put a link in the description saying where I got it from, because I've never known, no, I didn't really know this site until, like, two day, two weeks ago. Next we have the Victory Works Prairie from Steam. Looks nice. Uh, next we have the Steam Sound Supreme free product, uh, the Eilie Rail... I don't know how to say it, but it's a black five. It also has a nameplate, but it does. It does. I've I've played with this logo for a while now. The wheels are a bit edgy, I guess, but everything else about it is awesome. Next down here we have um, Flying Scotsman LNER livery from Steam. Which actually looks nice. I'm planning to get the uh, Steam Sound Supreme uh, sound pack for it. You know, the Pegler edition and the regular one. Next we have the Somerset and, Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway liveried uh, 7F from the West Somerset Railway, which 88 is, at, is in service and is working. Next, and lastly, we have the Digital Traction LMS Compound in its... I want to say post LMS livery, which I've played with, and it's very nice. They digital, and this is the version two. This is the new re newly released version two, which when I got it was on sale. Okay, without a further ado, let's click into the terrier and let's get going. Okay, so let's put the turntable. All right, let's make sure that the points are set correctly so I don't derail at all. Okay, let's hop in the cab, shall we? L looking at it right now, now this is the A1X, so, like, it doesn't have the, this many gears. The, uh, the, uh, the um, A1s are much more of a basic, not as much. But it does, but this does look nice overall. So here's a regulator, the water injectors, the reverser, the train, the engine brake, the train brake. Uh, you can actually put this up, but due to my computer being stupid, it won't let me. Or even, with any loco, I can't turn, I can't do the fire at all. It's stupid. This, you can also, now this one lets me, you can stoke in the fire too. So like you can shut this and not stroke. And then, yeah, it's nice. Then we have a lamp here, if you click on it. It gives a light, which is amazing for tunnels, too. But it's just amazing overall. It, it, it gives out so much light. Let's turn you off. What's this? So that's a cylinder cock, so that's going to be right behind you. That is kind of sad, though, but again, that's how they were made, so I can't really say anything about that. Here we have the handbrake. Uh, water injectors on both sides. We have the dampers down here. Uh, these gauges actually do work, so don't worry. I've actually tested this out before. And the whistle is right here, which is actually pretty... <laughs> so I'll press spacebar quick. See so you know what I mean by uh, the whistle not being as good? The, the, southern one, the southern ones are better, but... I mean, overall, it's still a nice locomotive. Anyway, let's, let's actually, so, brakes are on running, uh, traverser is forward, we are good on water and coal for now, if anyone knows how to place down water towers and coal stages, please tell me, because I really need to put some around here, and we are going to be off, let's just put a little bit on it, with the cylinder cock, open by C because it won't let me at all. Look at that. Now the, now the reason why I think they were called terriers because they because they bark when they chuck. Like a terrier like the dog. Which is actually pretty a, a nice nickname for it. Alright, let's use this to get over there. And let's quickly, so let it just do its work quick. Come on.
and on the turntable you are. Now this is going to take a while quick. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to cut this out. But the route that I cloned is actually pretty nice. Just so you know, the additional stuff I have at the station over there, that's my doing. So don't worry, that's... Come on. Come on. It's blown off like hell, which is kind of concerning me. Uh, it. Advanced mode turn on. Okay. So now... Okay, so we'll have it in advanced mode for now. But if I need to, then we'll... Okay, so points are set, right? Yep, okay. Alright. Let's... Let's jump in, and just so you know, there are different cab You, oh my god, that's amazing lighting. Look at that. That's amazing. Now, there are different cab views. So, with this button down here, it's the, fi the fire, of course. Uh, the fireman side. The fireman cab view. Which, and this, I think it's the Westing, no, it's not the Westing house pump. Actually, I think it is, which actually is nice, but maybe some of the models are still glitchy and it doesn't let it do that. And the driver's view, which we'll use for now. And we can go we can move, go in the cab and turn on the regulator and all that. So, actually, yeah, let's do a demonstration of that now. See what I mean? Oh, yeah, uh, the, bra the hand brake's on. There we go. Okay, there we go. Hear that? That, my friend, is the bark of the terrier. Ugh, I don't like that. Oh, it's advanced mode, so it does. Th okay, so I have to kind of watch the regulator a bit. Okay, so it's kind of it was kind of like the advanced mode, uh, West Somerset Railway. Did you did not clear the water from the cylinders this has caused the uh, crap. Whatever, it's fine. That kind of worried me. It's my first time with this loco in advanced mode. Like you see, mode was much different. Well, okay, let's put the handbrake on. And from there, click that. Which... Okay, I did click it then. Okay. Alright, and break off. And let's go backwards. Oh, yeah. Uh... What? Uh... Uh... Do I... Wait. Hold on. Do I press E? Oh, it is E. Oh, thank God. I thought I had to cut it and, like... Okay, so E is to, to do the the block. Okay. So, let's press E again. And let's just drag it up a bit. Nope. A bit more. No. Yeah, 28 is fine. Alright. Off we go. Why? Why are you not moving? I have the handbrake off. The revert the It's still blowing off. Okay. This is how it's gonna be, isn't it? Great. So what do I do? Yeah, it's just sitting there. Come on. Move. Wait, do I need it on a lot of regulate? Wait, do I need to do this? Okay, how about if I put that on now? Oh, so I do. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Will 50, would 50 be okay? Okay, so that would be okay.
Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. So now let's let's just let's just slowly back up to it. This is my first time in advanced mode, don't judge me. Alright, uh let's put you on a bit. Uh three two's fine for now. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You're almost there, buddy. Come on, you're almost there. Almost there. Come on, buffer up to it, you bastard. Come on. And... There we go. Right. Why? Oh, that's why. Okay. What the hell? Whoa! That is a lot of steam. That is not okay. Um. Right. So, let's press E and put the reverser up to about, let's say, 49. And we are off. Why? Again? Okay, fine. You want me to put you up more? No, uh, no, other, uh, other way. Stay. Now. Why? Wait. No, it's off. It. Hello. I don't know. Screw it. I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. Um. Control A. So yeah, just so you know, it's Control A to end match mode on and off. So let's put it back there, and we are off. I'm sorry, but I can't deal with that kind of pressure. It doesn't. If something goes wrong, then I have to cut out the whole video. Why are you doing this? The the cylinder cocks are off. Oh, it was because of the cylinder cocks earlier. Oh. Shit. Now, the thing about the southern coaches. I think they are a bit more bland than the than the other ones, but yeah, whatever. All right, let's let's put your handbrake on. Look at this. Listen, listen to that. That's beautiful. Okay, so now let me switch the points quick so I know where I'm going. Um, yep, that's right. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's put you, let's get your handbrake off, and we will back you up. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. Hopefully not. I am using XSplit Gamecaster now, which is a much, which is much better than Bandicam. If you didn't already know that. Which... I have the cylinder cocks off. Okay, that's just going to be there for the whole time. That's... That's okay, I guess. Oh, let's... Uh, let's actually... So, let's actually... So, with the cat... With the guard one... With the guard... Uh, coach... You can actually go in it... And all it is, is the handbrake and some luggage. Sadly, the handbrake doesn't work on this, but... I Look, I'm, I'm, cl I'm trying to click on it. It doesn't do anything. It's fine, though. It, it It's fine. Alright, let's brake a bit.
Let's roll into the station. Now, if you don't know, it's Grand Jade Terminus. So... Now, if you want to know how I came up with the name, well, all I did was, um... I found a random, uh, s train station generator that I just... I took bits and pieces from. So... Alright, let's press T to let the passengers out. Look at the inside of that. That looks nice. I'm actually... Let's see. So if we go in the one... And we just go down the line. Let's go in here. No. That's not what I want. I want here. And then... It... Okay. Uh... Okay, so now when the doors close, the guard's whistle will sound out. Let's put you in the running foot. See? And off we go. Now, I'm going to set the points quick so that we don't collide with anything. That's set right. Okay, so everything is set. That's good. So then we'll pass down here. We'll go all the way to, to Flatwater Pond. We'll, we'll curve around here, get up the hill, and we'll stop at Molten Wood Junction for now. For today. Oh, I messed this model up so much today. Whatever, I can restart it and all that too. Hey, it's, di it's starting to die down. No, it's not. Never mind. It just changed. The wind the wind changed it. Alright, now let's move on to the other one. Let's actually get a good view from the, the shed over here. Uh, let's go up a bit. Let's go about to the E2's height quick. Look at it over there, just gliding along the line, just, just, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. I think it would, actually it does look better with the southern coaches in this improved livery. It does look nicer to me. But in like the marsh livery, then it, actually that would be very nice. No wait, the, at the FYL, no, it's the S, the LSWR livery, that would be the best, ooh. Sorry about the lag, it's just because there's so many terriers in the yard. Alright, let's go back to cab. No, let's go in the first... There we go. Yeah, this is a pretty steep gradient, so you can pick up speed easily here. Alright, let's go into the bird... No, not the bird view. The side view. Look at the terrier just rocketing along the line. Alright, let's... Let's go into the cab, and let's put on the brakes, so that we don't derail, because there is a 15 mile per hour speed limit around here. Alright, let's put on the handbrake, so that we can slowly go down to 15. Alright, let's take you off. Let's for the tunnel. And in we go. Now the tunnel here, I think it's a bit glitched. I'll probably have to fix that myself. But the inside looks pretty roomy for probably like two, a double section. I mean, it's, it's nice overall. It's just... Alright, let's put you in the running. Since I couldn't really do it over there. I blame myself for the cylinder cocks there. So, excuse all the smoke, that's just my bad driving in advanced mode. Yeah, yeah, we're speeding, but it's like 18. It's fine. It's not It's not like we're going to derail it. Trust me, with the Black 5 uh, a week ago, I derailed horribly. So, yeah. Let's 
Let's slowly enter the platform of Flatwater Pond. Whistle out of the tunnel. And we're out. Now let's... Oh, God, I'm going to use a controller for this. So this is Flatwater Pond. There's not much going on, but I'll probably add some trees and bushes later. Hey, we, hey let's follow Raymond for a little bit now, shall we? I can do so many cinematic views with this, it's amazing. That's nice, oh my god. Alright, let's put some more regulator into you, buddy. There's going to be a hill up ahead, so we got to prepare for that. Alright, out we are. No, I tried to get up this hill earlier, and we got to like 10 miles per hour at the top, so we need a lot more speed here. Look at the terrier going at speed. Oh, that was a this is a nice shot. Oh, the lag. I hate it so much. It's it was smoother earlier. Oh yeah, and there's like a little divot here. I'll fix that later. Some of the roads here are a bit odd too. Maybe I'll have to fix that. Well, I mean, this I guess this kind of is a route showcase as well, but I retitled it my model railway because hopefully I want my model rail. No, I, I mean, I have a model railway. It's just it's not going to be as good. It's not going to be as good as this in like the video game. All right, let's see. Unless you believe to be. Ah, nah, that's bullshit. Alright, let's zoom in quick. Alright, you need to slow down, buddy, because we're c coming into the station. Alright, let me just, uh, that should be fine. See, look at that. That's beautiful. Alright, let's go into one. Now nah, let's go around the... I want to sit. That doesn't count as sit. Oh my god. That's stupid. That's pretty stupid, to be quite honest. I, want I really wanted to see the interior. I mean, it looks nice from out here. Come on, man. Anyway... So that was a bit of an update. I am wanting to play with my friends because I have Steam and other games too. Uh, let me just blow the whistle quick. And as we say, as we see Raymond goodbye, uh, that would be another Train Simulator 2016 review. If you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe and even like the video. Comment down below if anything went wrong or tell me what I did wrong, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. You want to say bye? That's right. All right, bye, guys.